Welcome to Mrs. Cressy's Chemistry Podcast. This podcast episode will help you solve problems involving energy, wavelength, and frequency. Let's look at the first problem. Light with a wavelength of 590 nanometers has how much energy? The first question you need to ask yourself is what's important here? The 590 nanometers is probably important. And we know because that's nanometers that it's a wavelength because meters are a measure of length. Okay. And we know that wavelength is equal to 590 nanometers. So we're making our little list of what variables we have. So 590 nanometers is our wavelength. And we need to convert that into meters because we need wavelength in meters. To do that, we're going to take the shortcut and write 590 times 10 to the negative ninth meters. Because that's the same thing as 590 nanometers. But we've got the right units now. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and set up a t-chart. And we're looking for energy. So we're going to write here that E equals question mark because that's what we're looking for. We want to make sure that we know what we're looking for. And then we need to find an equation that has energy and wavelength. So if we look at our list of equations, the one in the middle, that looks like it's the one that's got energy and wavelength in it. So we're going to use that equation. And we'll go back to our problem and let's write energy equals hc over lambda. Energy equals hc over lambda. So that's our equation. What other information do we need to know? Well, we need to know that h equals, and that's a constant, so we can look that up. You're going to have that on the test. h is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. So we know that. So we can go back to our problem and write h equals 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. And if we look at our equation, we know that we also need to know what c is. And c, if we look at our numbers we were given, c is a constant, it's the speed of light, and we know that it is 3 times 10 to the 8th. So we're going to write c equals, let's move this down a little bit because it's in the way. It's a good thing about using the smart board. Okay, c equals 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Now we have everything we know. So we need to plug this into the equation. We're solving for E. All right, and now we need to solve for E, so we're going to plug in our numbers into our equations. If we look at our list, we see that H is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. So we're going to plug that in here. So 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. We'll put that in parentheses. And then we're going to multiply by c, which is the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. All right? And we're going to divide all that by lambda. And we know that lambda is 590 times 10 to the negative 9th meters. Right? So we're going to divide by 590 times 10 to the negative 9th meters. And let's put this in parentheses so we remember we use parentheses in our calculator. All right, and now we need to look at our units and see what cancels out. We've got seconds and seconds, those cancel. And we have meters on the top and meters on the bottom, and those cancel. So our units that are left are joules. And joules do make sense for energy. Joules are the units that we use to measure energy. So looks like we probably set this problem up right. So now we just need to multiply. So let's plug this into our calculator. Remember when we're using scientific notation, we're going to use parentheses. So we're going to hit the parentheses button, and then 6.626, and then you hit the EE key, or the EXP key. Remember, that means times 10 to the. OK, so 6.626 EE negative 34. Close the parentheses, times 3 times 10 to the 8th, 
close parentheses, divided by 590 times 10 to the negative 9. And that gives us 3.369 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Okay, that's our answer, but wait. Do we think about sig figs? How many sig figs does 3.369 have? It's got four sig figs. And how many sig figs do we start with? Well, 590 only has two sig figs. The other numbers are all constants, which means they have an infinite number of sig figs. So we need to round our answer to two significant figures. So 3.4 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And that's our final answer. So let's write it over here where E equals, and we're going to write 3.4 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And let's put our answer in a box so that your teacher can find it. All right.